Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today, never going to give you up that Rickroll part thing that you want to learn. You can do that. All right. There is a tab for it, there'll be a link, and you can look at it, and it's all tabbed up. Okay, but well, we'll go over it. Here we go. Uh, fourth string, we're going to go 6-8. Third string, 6. Back to the fourth string, 8. So, just like that. Then six, uh, second string, 6-6. Six, six. Third string, 8. So that's your first move. Okay, that's going to come back later, just the way it is. So that's what I'm going to call the first move, okay? Now your next one, you're going to start off the same way. 6-8 on the 4th string. Then back to the 3rd string 5, 5th fret. 4th string 6. So, just like that. And then on the 3rd string, 8-8-6. Eight, eight, so that's the second move. Okay? Your third move is there it is so it starts off the same way six eight on the fourth string six on the third so yeah and then eight on the fourth so then on the third string all on the third string six eight five then the fourth string six six eight six on the third Actually, you're more than that because you do the first one exactly again. That's exactly the way you did the first one. So six, eight on the fourth, six on the third, eight on the fourth. Then second string, six, six, eight on the third. That's your first move again. Also your fourth move. Then the next one is different. It starts off the same, six, eight on the four. Third string five, fourth string six. Then you can play the first string, fourth fret, then the third string five, six. So it sounds like just like that. Uh, now, what you saw, you saw me roll it or rake it like that. I, I, what I did when I went to that first string four, I formed an F shape and I just arpeggiated it like that, four, three, two, one. But what I do is I rake it and I pull off it, um, not, not, not a pull off, but I get off the string right away. So just like that. And I end up landing on the first string, just like that. And then third string, five, six. So mine sounded like. Okay. Um, you can do it the easy way, like that too. Then your last move is the same as the third move. Six, eight, six on the third, back to eight on the fourth. Then on the third string, six, eight, five, fourth string, six, six, eight, six on the third. Is your first move. Whoops. That's your second move. That's your third. It's the same as the first, but it's the fourth. <laughs> and again, it's tabbed. There'll be a link. You can check it out. So you could do that. Um, and now I'll show you the chords. All right, capo first fret. Let's do a run through and then we'll talk about the chords. Capo first fret, uh, you're going to need a D minor 7. Borrow the top two strings at the first fret, third string, second fret. I'm going to get my thumb up here to kill the sixth string just in case I nick it. 
And uh, that's my first chord. That's a D minor 7. Uh, we use the capo to put ourselves in the, uh, the key that he's, uh, they're playing it in, okay? So, on the first chord, I'm going to go down, up, down. And that's my strum for that chord. Then I'm going to go to a G chord, and you really, really just need a 6 string 3rd fret, 1st uh, string 3rd fret. I did the 5th string 2nd fret. That's my G. Any G will do, by the way. And you're going to go, this one's going to be a longer strum. It's going to be down, up, down, down, down. Let me turn down a little bit. So the G is going to be down, up, down, down, down. So together it sounds like this. I'll try and yell out the strums. So down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. Up. Then you go to an E minor 7, which is the 5th string, 4th string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 3rd fret. And we're going to do that same short pattern. So down, up, down. Okay, on that one. Then we're going to go to an A minor 7, 4th string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 1st fret. Uh, this one's going to be the long pattern. Down, up, down, 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 up. So it's the same short, long, short, long on each one of the chords. So it's like D minor 7 to G, E minor 7 to A minor 7. Then you're going to go back and do the D minor 7 again the G again. And then this time when you hit the E minor 7, you just hit it once, and then the A minor 7 once, and then you pause. Then you can, uh, because you're going to repeat, you're going to add like a little, on the A minor 7 at the end I go down, 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 up to get back into it. So watch this. I'll play it through for the first time, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. So, um, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. to the beginning, so... The second time you just hit the chords once, and then that's it. So that's all you really need, um, you know, it's, uh, the, you would lead into it like, never gonna give up, never gonna... Hit the like button, please subscribe and play more guitar.